Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. My mom always checks out my sermons on our website, so I just want to say this. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! And I have a confession to make, finally. You remember that pan of brownies back in 1972? Someone got into them before company came. It really wasn't Peter, it was me. Sorry! Love ya. And a happy Mother's Day to all mothers here and everywhere. You ever read those children's letters to God? Here's one. Dear God, I don't know where I would be without you and my mother, Mrs. Carroll. My dad, Mr. Carroll, is okay too. From Stephen J. Carroll, age nine. Now, as a father, as a father, I understand that letter, and I understand why Mother's Day is a much bigger deal than Father's Day. It really comes down to what goes on in that labor and delivery room in the hospital. And because of that, I am so glad that I am not a mom, but a dad. Speaking of glad, and speaking of children's letters to God, here's another one. An eight-year-old boy wrote an Easter letter to Jesus. Dear Jesus, you must have got a big smile on your face when you found out you was resurrected. I was glad when I heard about it too. Not to be outdone, an eight-year-old girl wrote this. Dear Jesus, ever since I was five, I have been a big fan of yours. Now that I am three years older and have all these years under my belt, you can count on me for bigger things. So there you go. The resurrection is a source of gladness, and the resurrection is an inspiration to serve. And that makes me think of Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Ever hear about that kid learning a Bible verse by heart? Maybe the most famous verse in the New Testament. The child recited it like this, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have ever laughing life. I'll buy that. Serve the Lord with gladness. Think of that prayer we say together after communion. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness. I'll buy that too. The kids of St. Mark's think that church ought to be fun. I think they are right. We can serve the Lord and we can do it with gladness. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a blacksmith. He worked hard at his trade for many years and he was very gifted. But the time came for him to die. An angel was sent to him, but the angel was surprised because the blacksmith refused to go. He begged the angel to make his case before God. He was not ungrateful. He was glad to have a place in heaven, but he was the only blacksmith in the region. It was planting time, and so his neighbors needed him very much. So the angel put his case before God. The angel asked if things could be put off for a while so the man could still help his neighbors, and God agreed. More than a year later, the same angel came back with the same message. God was ready to welcome him into heaven. Once again, the blacksmith resisted. He said, I have a friend who's very sick and it's harvest time. All of us are trying to save his crops so that his family does not fall into poverty. Please come back later. Off again went the angel. Well, this became a pattern. Every time the angel came, the blacksmith had an excuse, and it was always because someone needed his help so much. And so he would decline the invitation to heaven. 
Well, eventually the blacksmith became very, very old, and he was very, very tired. He decided it was time, so he prayed, Dear God, if you would like to send your angel now, I would be very glad to come home. The angel appeared instantly and smiled at the blacksmith, and the man said, if, if you would take me home now, I would be glad to live in heaven. The angel laughed. The angel looked at this man with love, and the angel said, where do you think you've been living all this time? And the blacksmith was home. Serve the Lord with gladness. Every single word in that line is important. Serve the Lord with gladness. The word that really stays with me is gladness. Amen.